Hey, good morning, everybody. We are going to get started. I'm going to give it like one or two more minutes. We'll get rolling. All right, we're going to get started. Good morning. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. How's it going, Rachel? Nice to see you. Um, hey, Diane. Hey, Brandy. Megan. All right, so I've got a couple of things I want to talk about with you, and then I'm just going to kind of open it up for just general questions. So thanks for jumping on. This is a, the Almond Group team call we do every Monday morning. So thanks for getting on and uh, here we go. So it's kind of funny. I was thinking about uh, my week last week and uh, like what I could share on the call with you guys and uh, the Finding Nemo movie came to my mind, which is a little funny. I don't know if you've seen Finding Nemo, but there's a scene in the movie Finding Nemo where they're uh, they're trying to get out of the tank so that he can find his dad, and they come up with this plan for the shrimp not to clean, and so the tank will get dirty, so they can be taken out and escape somehow, right? Well, then over the night, the the dentist office puts in this like, uh, really premium, advanced cleaning system, and so they wake up in the morning. It was dirty the night before, and then it's all super clean. And they're like, what the heck? So, and you're like, what the, what the heck does this uh, story have to do with this business? Well, it has a lot to do with it because uh, sometimes things are going to happen that, are, that we can't control, right? Like we have one plan like they did in, in NEMA, and then something else happens, so we have to pivot, right? And so... I think they ended up they ended up like uh, putting a rock, wedging a rock into the cleaner and ended up getting dirty again. I ended up finding his dad and it was, you know, uh, all good after that. But the point is they had a plan and something, a wrench got thrown into it. So the same things happened in life and in business. And I uh, thought that was a, I don't know why that story came to my mind or that scene. But uh, so I just encourage you this week, um, you know, if there's if there's something that happened last week that I feel like threw you off, maybe, maybe just come up with a just pivot, go a different direction and keep moving. Um, there's also there's a book uh, called The Horse, the Boy, the Fox and the Mole. It's a really good book. But in that book, it talks about. Um, doing your best not to overthink overthink things and that's always helped me a lot too in the business and there's a, a part in the book where the boy is like I can't see my way through uh, like I can't see my way through I don't know what I'm going to do and the horse is like well can you see your next step and he goes yeah I can see my next step he goes well just do that right so and really, at the end of the day, that's all we can do is if we can see our next step, just take that and then continue taking our next steps towards what we're trying to do. Um, if you want to read that book, it's great. It's The Boy, The Fox, The Horse, and The Mole. Um, anyways, I just want to give you that encouragement today. Just keep taking your next step towards what you're trying to do, wherever you're at in the business, because um, there's always going to be, whether you're brand new, been here a while. Um, 
been here a year doesn't really matter. It's always going to be something that you can work on. So I just wanted to encourage you in that. And then I wanted to talk about three stages in the business. I don't I think it's been a while since we've gone over this. And I think it would be helpful for all of us. So if you have pens and a sheet of paper, uh, you can take these down. This will uh, this will help a lot. For me, simplifying stuff always has always helped me. So if you write these three stages down, um, the first stage is you want to you want to issue pay three policies outside of your um, friends or your family. Okay, so that means from from leads or from cold contacting people that you don't know, basically. Okay, so if you're if you're in the business and that hasn't happened yet then just focus on that, right? Um, and then, you know, take the steps, reach out. Uh, um, you can slack somebody, do what, you, do what you need to do to try to accomplish that. Um, so it's three policies outside of friends and family. So you don't have to have beyond leads just from people that you don't directly know, okay? That's the first first step. Um, second one is um, get consistent on on the leads that you're getting. Get consistent is like a consistent number of deposits or issue paid. So, for example, if you're spending two hundred and fifty dollars a week um, or a hundred dollars a week, get consistent at turning in three policies from that or 22,500 in premium from, from that investment. Okay. So if your strategy is to, for example, $250 and you're not submitting 2,500 per week, then, you know, we need to talk about it or someone needs to talk with you about what's going on with your contacts, your appointments, things like that. Um, so just get consistent at whatever you're investing issue paying. Okay. Um, and it doesn't have to be, or you could be investing in multiple types of lead resources. You know, if you, uh, if you're, if you've been here a while and you have a book of business that counts too, right. Um, investing in getting appointments with your book of business and, not just leads, it all applies. Um, but have a consistent number, I would say, for six weeks at a minimum. Um, you know, 90 days is good too, but six weeks at a minimum, get a consistent return and work with somebody on how that's going for you. And then the third, the, the third step is um, you scale, scale up what you were consistent at. So if you're, if you can be consistent at, hundred dollars a week or two hundred dollars a week in in deposits, then you can just increase that to whatever amount that that you want to. Right. So you can if if you want to go to five thousand a week, if you're consistent at two thousand, you can do five thousand. It's just more resources, more appointments, more more phone calls, more contacts, stuff like that. So um, whatever stage you're in, in the business or whatever steps you're in, just, you know, look at those three and, and figure out, okay, which one am I in? And then just focus, focus on that, that one you're in, trying to get that one done. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of times in the business, there's so much information being thrown at us and it can kind of, uh, put us in a little bit of a freeze, I guess I, you could say, right? You're like, I'm not sure what to do. So this has always helped me um, simplify it. Like, where am I at and what I need to, what steps do I need to take to accomplish what I'm trying to get done? So again, 
First step is three policies outside friends and family. Second one is consistent at what resources you're getting, or that's leads, your book of business, or if you're, you know, door knocking that too. And then third is scale it from there. So once you're consistent, bring it on up. So um, as far as content, that's all I had this morning. The purpose of the call is really to, to serve you well. So I don't know if you guys have questions or if anybody wants to share anything from, from their week this week, that would be great. But I'm going to open it up for any type of questions at all. Uh, um, so if anybody wants to speak up, we can just chat about anything that you're, you're wanting to talk about. Anybody doesn't have anything to say, I'll talk. Okay. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, okay. we can. I just want to give one person out there some hope today because um, I'm at, I don't have my video on this morning because I'm walking around here at MD Anderson. I've been here since 6 o'clock. got up at 4. But um, my, my goal every month this whole year has been to issue over 40,000 and in my condition, you know, it's not an easy goal. <laughs> I, I live at MD Anderson most days, but I just want to give you guys hope because in the month of May, I issued almost over $42,000 in premium. So if one person can do it, all of y'all can do it. And with my leukemia, uh, it's just been, you know, you got zero uh, cust current clients, zero face-to-face, -face, all virtual. So if you can go knock doors, if you can get leads, uh, and, and you have all those things available to you, what can you do? Think about it. Uh, set yourself a goal that is bigger than what you think you can do because, you um, I've done over 40,000 many times, but not this year because, because of my health. So no matter what you're going through, no matter what obstacles are in your way, um, get with one of us and, and sit, sit, sit yourself down and set yourself a calendar and get yourself on a program that's going to put you in the place that you want to be. And anything is possible if you put your mind to it. So that's all I got. I hope that I give just one of you hope out there, you know? Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you, Michelle. Anybody else? I'll say something real quick. Hi, good morning. Um, hi, everybody. Today is Bella's first day of uh, daycare. So, yay, going to drop her off. Um. Uh, I was just, what my mom said was so true. I think that um, she's always set really high goals and it has stretched her over the years. And all of us have been stretched many times over the years and you are way more capable than you might believe that you are, but you, you can do more than you believe that you can. You just have to start taking that one step forward to get there. I was just going to say that there are like, this past week, I was going into the week thinking, oh, I've got a lot of business I'm going to get submitted this week because um, I had already known what was kind of in my pipeline. But you've got to be prepared for it to not always go exactly how you thought and um, have other things lined up. Like, meaning if you've got good stuff that you know is going to come through, that's great. But don't start, don't stop the prospecting from with new customers because at the end of the day, we are still in the people business. Things come up with people and it doesn't always go exactly how we planned it would. And so uh, that happened for me this week. I was 
I swear I was going in the week thinking I was going to have submitted like 20,000 in premium, but ended up only actually getting one of them submitted. Now this week that leftover from last week could get done, but I still have to work as if it's not because if I don't, I'm still going to work to get it done, but I have to prepare like it's not there so that I can still have more business in the pipeline. It's like this constant trick of your mind that you know that you've got to get this stuff done and you're going to take the action to get it done, but also pretend it's not there. kind of keeps you moving forward and filling the pipeline for next week and next week. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Anybody else have anything? you want to share or talk about? Katie, tell us how you're doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I called you out, but I want to know. No, how it's, doing. it's fine. It's fine. I'm waiting on, long story short, Colton's having surgery this morning. That's the only reason I'm awake right now. <laughs> um, anyway, um, well, I start my third round tomorrow. Um, Michelle and I were just texting back and forth and now you can see I have my hair kind of, and, um, I'm just kind of trying to get to where I can be as great as y'all are, even with, with the chemo that I'm going through. It's not nearly as intensive as what Michelle's is not even close, but you still have the, the down days where you're like just exhausted, no matter how much sleep you get, you're just exhausted. Um, so those days are rough, obviously, but I've been getting better about texting annual review clients and stuff like that, like at the beginning of the month, instead of waiting till like the middle of the month and trying to intermingle it with um, those rough days. So just trying to see what I can do for um, those clients and, and get better at keeping um keeping up with the current clients. I haven't done any leads either and still doing okay, doing okay as far as submit, but I was telling Michelle, I really want to get to where I'm at like 20,000 um, a month. Cause it's been quite a while since I've done that. Like, I've done my normal is like 12 to 15, but if I can get to 20, like that'll make it a lot easier. So that's my goal is, is 20, um, 20 a month at this particular point. And then we'll kind of go from there and increase it from there. So it's kind of where I'm at. Um, and it was good to see you guys. It's been a while. Yeah, it's good to see you too, Katie. You said 20,000 is you paid? Or yep. 20, yep. yeah? Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Very good. It's kind of the goal. So good talking to you guys. Um, I'll share some of my goals. I know I think I shared um, a couple of weeks ago, but like Michelle said, I mean, she's given me a ton of encouragement because she just did 40 grand last month, right? That's been a goal of mine um, all year as well, and I haven't hit it. So still a goal, still something I'm working on, and also trying to keep my calendar open for – conversations to help the team which i had a lot of those last week and um, it's doable right uh, it's just a matter of figuring out where to fit in the appointments and improving the conversations that i'm having with current clients leads and with agents so uh, it's still a goal of mine i know it's a high one but i'm still shooting for it and uh it wasn't always there either. So, you know, if that seems like a crazy goal to you, like, you know, when I started, it was just one application a week I was trying to get done. So it doesn't have to be this crazy goal out the gate. Um, you, you know where you're at, but definitely challenge yourself, um, you know, so that you feel a little bit stretched to get it done. Because here's the reality, like, one thing I love about the business is that it's not like 
we have to be this crazy, insane, talented person. Like we don't have to go to med school for four years and two years of residency to like a doctor would to, to be successful here. Right. Anybody can do it. Um, it's just a matter of doing the, the tasks that it's, re it's required. Right. It's not. And that's what encouraged me when I got in the business. So like, I just have to do like the, the task that Michelle's doing or other top producers are doing and I'll eventually be able to accomplish it. Right. Um, and so remember that it's anyone can do it. You have everything you need inside of you to accomplish what you're trying to get done. It's just a matter of getting it out of you and focusing on those tasks, which, you know, are making phone calls, the activity tasks, making phone calls, talking with people, scheduling appointments, you know, blocking off time for your family and your calendar, you know, the, the simple thing. So, if, you know, if you haven't talked to anybody about that in detail, reach out to one of us and let's go through it. But um, those, those are the simple things. And then once you talk with clients and figure out how your meeting went, if, if you didn't move forward with it, then talk with someone about how that conversation was and maybe some other things that could have been discussed, right? So um, just want to encourage you in that. Those are my goals, and I'm going to keep, you know, keep shooting for them. We've got – yeah, we're not even done with the second quarter yet. So plenty of time. So – Hey, Johnny. Uh-huh. So, like, you know, I'm really proud of Brandy. I want to just say that I know Brandy's on, but I'm proud of you, Brandy, because when, uh, when we first started and, you know, my goal was has been lately 15 applications a week. And I know that sounds like a lot, but it's only five a day. And, you know, I uh, encouraged Brandy to set a goal. She set a goal of three apps a week. I think that's a great goal because she has a full-time business that she runs. And she just does this very part-time. Now, she's been turning in, I want to say, three to five apps a week. I think her goal is fixing to grow. And I'm proud of her for that. And it's just no matter, like, you can start at three. You can start at five. You can start at ten. But put a number there and then break it down to per day. So like for Katie at 20,000, her goal might be eight apps a week, seven to eight apps a week. How many is that per day? It's basically two apps a day. You figure four days, you work four days, two apps a day. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. Break it down into its simplest part, and then it becomes easier. How can I? And then you got to obsess your mind on it. You got to obsess your mind. How do I get two apps per day? How do I do that? Who can I call today who needs an application? And that's that's basically how it's done. You, but you got to obsess on it all the eight hours of the day that you're working, or the five hours a day that you're working. I know it sounds simple, and it really is that simple. You just got to keep it in front of you. How do you keep that in front of you? You put it on your desk, and you look at it, and put it on your computer every day, and you look at it. You force yourself to look at it, and that's how you do it. You want to say something, Brandy? I saw you on mute. Yeah, I. Yeah, my yeah, my goal was uh, three apps a week, and I've been turned in two this week. I didn't turn in uh, any. I had seven appointments, mm -hmm. um, but I I know from being in the business ten years ago, this it I didn't get discouraged. Last night I was like, oh man, then I thought, no, it's all going to come out even in the wash. It's um. Next, because what I did next week, last week, I follow back up with them. I'll probably more than likely write five apps this week. So um, I'm encouraged on that. Um, and so 
I'm doing a uh, follow-up with current clients. And so um, this week, um, I hope to focus more on um, insurance and things. This not doing, but maybe one or two landscape jobs. It's kind of getting hot here, so we can't, yeah. can't do too much. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, and then Michelle encouraged me to text my ERS, and I did that Friday. So I'm going to do that more. Um, I think she said try to do it by 10 o'clock, try to, you know, text at least 20 uh, ERSs out. So look forward to that. Very yeah. good. That's awesome. Um, you'd be surprised what you can get done, you know, because you haven't even – you've been back, what, it's less than a year, right? Just a few yeah. months? Yeah, I think March. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just keep at it. You be- and I don't know if you mind me saying this, Brandy, but I think you're probably already, just with what you're doing, you're right at, you know, you're getting close to being able to, to ditch your business at some point, you know, mm-hmm. a little bit more consistency. And you never have to do that either. That's the cool thing. You can probably figure out, you know, on your off times how to do more. Uh, And you are figuring it all out. Um, It's just a matter of time management and discipline and and figuring out when you can do do it. So I'm, I'm super proud of the effort. And, like, it doesn't take long to text out 20 ERSs. No. You know, it's the it's the scare factor, right? That <laughs> that keeps us from doing most of what we do. It's the scare factor. It's the fear factor. And if we can help you get over that, the only way we can help you get over that is by talking to you yeah. more. So I just encourage everybody to talk to us more. You know, because then you can listen to me do some, and you can feel more comfortable and you go oh if she can do that i can do this this is hard she's just talking to people you know yeah so i'm going to get on the phone and talk about that this weekend we didn't we'll talk That's about fine. it today you know um yeah later yeah yeah i mean yeah i had some um respond back and some didn't that's all because sometimes you can tell where people read their texts on some of them and i'm like well they saw the text it's them <laughs> so i said well maybe later today <laughs> during business hours i'll send on my virtual card and that's it since um is that what you would do kind of or if um, you, you know if I mean? you have you can call them you can just reach out to them by phone oh okay you know if they didn't respond because it all depends on, so like for me, you got to spend enough time to build that pipeline. And that's what that do it is doing. That's, you know, building that pipeline. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it just means they might not have a cell phone or they may not have just um, wanted to could've answer been, at that point. Yeah, it could have been busy, yeah. Okay, I'll do that. I'll give them a call. Because I already got permission from the, the, you know, the client, their parents or their, you know. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So we'll talk about that phone call in a little bit. Um, and you can give them, you can, you know, it's a five minute phone call. So you're just going to open up so many doors with mm-hmm. making that phone call and doing that customer service call. All this is is a customer service call. You know, they know right off the bat that you're not trying to sell them anything. Uh, But if they need you as a resource, you're there. And then half the people will say, well, I would like to talk to you about this. Because you're not pushy. You're not being pushy. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. It's 8 o'clock. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like Jonathan. We lost Jonathan, but his service has still gone out. But uh, yeah, it's eight. We got DCC at nine.
Hope you guys turn in your numbers so you can be recognized and see you on that call then. All right. See y'all. Thank you. See ya. Bye, everybody. Sorry, guys. I guess my internet just stopped working. But anyways, have a great day. See y'all later.